So I wanted to put out a quick little update video in regards to the fire that recently took place on board the Carnival Freedom, as well as talk about an unnecessary, in my opinion, unnecessary controversy that is going on right now. People are arguing and bickering about things left and right. The topic of this... How did the fire start on board the Carnival Freedom? Now, guys, there is so many things going on in the cruise world, unfortunately. There's stuff going on with MSC, Holland America, and even Virgin Voyages that I will be getting to as early as tomorrow, so make sure you look out for those videos. However, we gotta talk about this Carnival Freedom situation. Just so we're all on the same page, this past Saturday on March, the Carnival Freedom's iconic whale tail unfortunately caught fire. This is the second time, as it happened once before, two years ago, back on May, in 2022 what everybody is arguing about right now is whether the ship was struck by lightning or was some engine failure type issue it doesn't really matter as of right now if you go on google and you type in cruise ship or you want to be a little bit more specific you type in carnival it's going to say cruise ship catches on fire during a lightning strike this is the story that everybody's going with and i even want to show you a video clip in a second in which a passenger that was on board that is now on land in an interview and he talked about hearing a loud bang before we start the video clip i just want to say that personally for me i don't think the cause is too important if it indeed was a lightning strike i think that's really interesting there are people that are arguing all over the place even trying to argue with me i never confirmed that it was a lightning strike i said it was possible considering the ship was indeed in a storm at the time of this happening people are arguing that there are lightning rods on the cruise ship yes that may be true for a lot of cruise ships however you got to think that iconic whale tail funnel on the carnival freedom is pretty much the highest point on board that ship, meaning a lightning strike is indeed possible. But nevertheless, guys, let's focus on the situation. I do also want to let you know that unfortunately, even though Carnival said they were trying to go as scheduled, the cruises for the 25th and now the 29th are now officially canceled for sailings for the Carnival Freedom. Now let's get into the video clip. Joining us now is Heath Barnes. He was on the cruise ship when it caught fire. Heath, can you tell us about your experience on the day of the storm and when that lightning struck? This sure. is crazy. Yeah, it was pretty wild. So we, we knew there were some storms happening when the beginning of the day because we were supposed to get off on at Princess K at 9 a.m. And around 8 a.m. they came across with an announcement that we weren't going to be able to port that day. Instead, we were going to remain at sea and we were going to go to uh, Freeport the following day and make that our port day instead. So it, it was raining pretty heavy and it, actually the rain stopped around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. They actually opened up the outside decks. So I went outside around two o'clock and was reading a book. And then about 30 minutes later, the rain started again pretty heavily. So myself and another passenger was sitting outside but under an overhang where we weren't getting wet, but we could still watch the rain. And this huge bolt of thunder, of lightning and thunder. And um, I didn't at the time realize that it had actually hit the tail of the ship. We just knew it had sounded like it hit something. It startled me, so I went back inside to my cabin. And about 10 minutes later, uh, my nephews came running in. I have my 16-year-old nephew with me and two of his friends that are 16 as well. And they came running in and saying the ship was on fire. I thought they were just being teenagers and giving me a hard time. They're like, no, let's go out. So we went out on our balcony. And sure enough, that's where I recorded the videos from. The, the fire was coming out of the tail of the, uh, of the ship, the well tail, and smoke was pouring out pretty heavily. And, and um, there it was. I mean, we didn't really know what to do. And then uh, about 30 minutes later, they came across with an announcement, asked everybody to stay inside. So we did after that point. And then they asked everybody to stay in their cabins until about 5.30 that afternoon. So about two hours, they had us all inside before they opened some things back up. So. And I'm looking at some of the faces there, I guess, of your nephews and his friends. Tell us what was going through your mind, yes. your nephew's mind when they saw part of the ship was on fire. Sure. Well, I mean, I, this was my 18th cruise with Carnival. I cruise quite often. Um, I was, it was almost like nervous. If you hear the videos, we're chuckling. It wasn't that we thought it was funny. It was almost like surreal. Like, this really isn't happening. Moral of the story here, if a passenger that was on board the Carnival Freedom at the time said they heard a loud bang, the initial announcement to the passengers while this was taking place on board the Carnival Freedom also mentioned a lightning strike. Eyewitnesses reported the possibility of a lightning strike 
and that is being investigated. The articles mention a lightning strike, then, well, that's what we're going to run with for now. It was also interesting to me that Carnival, I guess, what, a few days ago or a day ago, just said that the operations as far as repairing the well to funnel and making the ship operational was taking a little longer than expected. Yeah, you think? The thing was on fire. I don't think they could have been operational that quickly, in my personal opinion. They were probably trying to just kind of buy their time and see what they were going to do for the passengers on the sailings between the 25th and then the ones on the 29th and make a final decision as far as what they were going to do as far as maybe future cruise credit and refunds and all that jazz but nevertheless it is what it is i still say that if this were to happen again a third time it is definitely a sign for carnival to do something with the carnival freedom maybe permanently remove the whale tail funnel and i do want to be very clear here this is not carnival's fault an act of god that was indeed a lightning strike is not carnival's fault carnival for the most part they do a pretty good job maintaining their older and seasoned ships and well this is just a situation that was kind of a one in a million odds chance of happening so it is what it is but anyway of course guys let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below hit that like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already and of course you want to book a cruise make sure you check out lux rally travel i'm a travel agent the link of it will be in the description box below as well it's pinned in the comments i appreciate all of you i love all of you and i'll see you tomorrow take it easy